Imagine you're in a dark lecture room and you want to find an exit. You know there are a couple of doors, but you don't know which one to take or what is the best route. The case for prostate cancer is similar. Doctors and patients have several available treatments. However, they don't always know which one to choose. The prostate is a small male gland located beneath the bladder. And cancer of this organ is the second leading cause of cancer-related death for men in many developed countries. Treatments currently available are active surveillance, radiotherapy, surgery, chemo or hormone treatment, or a combination of these. Currently, there exist very few markers that indicate when to choose which treatment. You would think we would have to treat every patient as soon as possible. However, prostate cancer is not always or immediately lethal, but the side effects such as impotence or incontinence from treatment could occur immediately after treatment. The side effects may last the rest of a man's life, and what man wants to spend his final years, and these could be many, wearing nappies and not having sex. <laughs> now let me explain how we are trying to solve this. Prostate cancer is known to be caused by changes in the human genome. And you've all heard of a large genome that you inherit from both your parents. But did you know there's also a much smaller genome that you inherit only from your mother? This small genome is located in the mitochondria, a cell component. And we know that in this small genome, changes occur more often and in an earlier stage of cancer than in the large genome. So in my research project, I am identifying changes in this genome for each individual cancer patient. I then look at how this patient responded to his treatment. With this information, we can then better define future patients into groups that might also respond to that particular treatment. So this would then help doctors and patients to choose the most appropriate treatment protocol, optimizing the clinical outcome and reducing side effects of treatment. It's a bit like shining a light in the dark towards the right door. Now where is this right door? For you, it's in the back of the room. For prostate cancer patients, hopefully it will be contained within my thesis. <laughs> Thank you.